Hello, everyone, and welcome to this first ever File 920 podcast. I'm File 920, obviously, and um, I'm sitting here. It's a Thursday, very snowy Thursday here in Baltimore, and uh, I just got done shoveling snow, got my hot cocoa right here, and I figured it'd be a good time now, since I don't have work today, that I could do this podcast. I've been talking about doing a podcast for a long time, and... uh, well, basically, what I'm going to use this uh, this podcast as is just a way to just talk about the things that um, I can't really talk about in depth while I'm uh, doing my show. I have a show, Fallen Under One Ease, Disney News and Reviews. Obviously, 90% of you know that if you're just listening to this because this is a podcast and you're just interested. I do a show on YouTube where I review uh, Disney attractions and I... Um, uh, you know, I, I give Disney news, you know, for, you know, from Disney world throughout that week. Uh, so it's, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much what I talk about is Disney stuff. And, uh, when I actually do the news segment of the show, I have to kind of cut down stuff. Uh, I can't really give my opinion on a lot of it, um, kind of because, uh, time constraints. So right now I'm kind of hopefully using this podcast as a good, uh, you know, kind of a, basically an elaboration on the news. And there'll be a couple of different topics that I, uh, you know, I will be talking about uh, a couple of different topics that I want to talk about in the future, uh, in future podcasts, uh, you know, just random stuff all the way from, you know, the new avatar land to, uh, Disney infinity, uh, all the way to other uh, different. One thing I, I have here is uh, different types of Disney fans. Uh, so it's, a uh, it should be pretty cool, uh, you know, just to kind of see what, you know, what's going on um, about all that. Now, uh, getting into the actual crux of the show uh, or this podcast, it could be, uh, you know, this could be, um, you know, half an hour long, could be an hour long. It just goes on however long I plan on ranting about certain subjects. Uh, cause it's, I, I, I don't want to make it too long for people because I know America has a short attention span right now. And, uh, <laughs> if you do do something that's pretty, uh, long, usually, uh, people don't like that. And, uh, cause they have a very short attention span. So I'll just try to keep, uh, what I do say interesting and, uh, the number of things that I talk about, uh, a little low. So we'll see what happens. Now, the one thing I did say that I would do. Uh, that, well, you know, that di- I did want to talk about are uh, the different types of Disney fans. I was driving home one day and, uh, you know, I was just thinking about different things I could possibly talk about. And um, a friend of mine called and uh, they were going to Disney and all that stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, I they were asking me my opinions on, on things and whatnot. And it was funny because at that time, you know, I I was surprised that a lot of people didn't know a lot of the certain things that I know. Uh, I sometimes take for granted the knowledge that I have uh, accrued over the years of just reading books and going down to Disney and all that stuff. But, uh, that, you know, it kind of got me thinking, I kind of a little abstractly about the different types of Disney fans there are out there in the world. Like you got the regular fans, the regular Disney fans. Uh, then you have fans with specialities. Uh, the regular Disney fans are the fans that just, you know, they go and, uh, you know, they appreciate the Disney movies. They will uh, occasionally download a song on iTunes every now and then and uh, enjoy it as best as they possibly could. Um, so that's, you know, pretty much what I'm trying to get at. Uh, but then you got the fans with specialities. And, um, you know, like some major, major Disney fans and will probably... Uh, agree with this is that they are better they have better knowledge about certain things than other Disney fans like you got uh, Disney fans who absolutely you know the major Disney fans who absolutely absolutely love the Disney music that is the one thing that they can they, they you know that they really know and then you got the uh you you like you know the fans that follow the Disney movies and then you got the uh the fans who um uh, you know, or experts with, you know, certain parks, uh, uh, well, you know, like whether it be one park or all of Walt Disney world or even Disneyland and all that, uh, usually some fans, um, only appreciate, 
uh, you know, hardcore fans really only appreciate can, you know, one subject. Uh, most of the fans that I talk to are big into the Disney, uh, music and movies. They, you know, get a lot from that. And usually that's how the big fandom starts, but they don't understand that there are different Disney fans. I guess they, you know, I, I guess if you, you know, if, if you really want to say that. So like for the most part, those are the types of people that I meet, uh, day in and day out are the, you know, like I always get questions. What's your favorite Disney movie? What's your favorite, uh, a Disney song. And don't get me wrong, I love Disney music and I love the I love the Disney movies. Without them we wouldn't really have uh this Disney fandom. And I would say 90% of the people of the Disney fans appreciate the movies and music more than anything else. Um but then you got a couple other people who who have different subspecialities and uh that's kind of where I come in and I kind of want to talk uh, about that is uh, my specialities when it comes to Disney are um, Disney parks and Disney history, overall Disney history. Um, like, I, I love the music, I love the movies. You know, I'll always go and watch a Disney movie, and I'll, I love listening to the Disney uh, music and whatnot, but I nine times out of ten, when it comes to, like, Disney movies, seen it, um, like, I'll, like, some person will, you know, beat me in that, because they you know all the questions about the movies you know they know uh, like all the, the ins and outs of all the movies and whatnot but they probably could not tell you who drew all the uh, stuff in the movies and whatnot that's kind of where I come in um, and it's and, and you know there's nothing wrong with that it's not like I'm saying that there's anything wrong with that because I could care less if that's your you know uh, you know if you if, if that's your your motivation to uh want to go to Disney World or like Disney stuff cuz I know it's pretty cool a lot of people like like Disney stuff they just don't have the the heart to admit it <laughs> i guess you could say uh they just don't exactly uh feel comfortable tell, admitting that to the world it's almost like uh professional wrestling which is kind of weird like uh, a lot of people don't want to admit that that they absolutely love professional wrestling uh, you know, when I was a big wrestling fan, they, uh, you know, it was hard to find people who, uh, actually dug it. Uh, and I think it's the same thing with Disney because people view it as a childish medium or a childish, uh, place. And it is, I mean, it's, m- it's mainly meant for children, but there are, uh, stories being told that, uh, have a deep, um, have a deeper meaning that only as an adult will you, will you understand. So if you actually probably go if you've never seen a Disney movie since you were 10 if you go back and watch them now I guarantee you'll catch stuff that you uh never uh thought was in there but that's pretty that you know that's pretty common I guess of, of most of anything now uh, some people might be asking why are those those two things the Disney history and Disney parks your favorite and I don't really I don't know but it I just it came to me as a realization that um I appreciate stuff from the Disney parks more than any other bit of uh, Disney merchandise uh, or any bit of uh, you know Disney lore and whatnot. I I love the Disney parks. They're my favorite things to read about and to see the upgrades that they uh, you know are doing to them. Uh, you know how they integrate movies and different things like that. Uh, I really dig it, and uh, I think the Disney parks are almost like the personification. And the realization of um, the Disney universe, like you know, it's it's you can't jump into a movie, you can't jump into a song, and say you know, well you can't sing with them, but you can't like you know, um, you know, jump into the movie. I guess you could say, but uh, in the when you're in Disney World and things like that, it's uh, it's great because you can actually uh, you know explore everything. And these people that made the movies, you know, made the parks. And, uh, you know, they help decorate it and, you know, tell this story of the parks that, uh, you can kind of go in and touch and feel. And I, you know, I just, I, I love it. It just has been one of, you know, like ever since, I guess you could say doing this show, uh, it's become one, you know, you know, one of my specialties because of just having to talk about it day in and day out and, uh, or every week as I should say. Uh, and it's just, I, you know, I dig it. It's one of my favorite uh, things to talk about with people because, uh, like my friend again, just told me that they were going down to Disney world and, uh, you know, I got to help them with, uh, understanding, uh, what they could expect when they go to, uh, a Disney world at that time versus uh, any other time. And, uh, 
uh, you know, like you know, they, they got really excited because people who go to, who want to go to Disney World get really excited, and uh, you know, yeah, you know, I I still get excited when I when I say that I'm you know I'm going to Disney World. Oh my God, I'm going to Disney World. Yes, that's awesome. Uh, but uh, you know, it's just uh, it's it's hard to really understand why. Uh, that is my, you know, like, you know, one of my favorite things to talk about, but I think it's because of this show that I do that, uh, helped me, uh, you know, get, gain a huge, a bigger appreciation, uh, for Disney world than uh, I ever, I ever would. Now, my other one is Disney lore. And uh, I think that comes from reading all of the Disney, uh, you know, like autobiographies and, uh, different things about Disney, uh, you know, the, the man himself and, uh, all the people and how it, uh, uh, you know, came to be, I mean, the, you know, like, you know, the, the Disney company and, uh, the man of Walt Disney, it's such an amazing story. If they ever attempted to do a biography with, uh, you know, about Walt Disney, that would just be something in, insane. Cause I doubt, um, they could pull it off, um, I doubt, well, I know they could pull it off, but I don't think they could pull it off into great detail, I guess you could say, uh, unless they did it into like a three-part miniseries on HBO or something like that, uh, where they, you know, talked about him growing up, him being a, a young man, and then him being an older man, because those are three different uh, versions of the same man who uh, who was never the same. He was always, an, and he, was, he, he always evolved, you know, just like the parks do, he always evolved. And, uh, you know, he never did the same thing twice. I mean, he made movies to sustain his other stuff. Uh, for instance, uh, we, we know when he made Snow White, uh, he knew that he had reached a, a big milestone and he was going to continue to do things, uh, let, you, know, you, you know, like that to allow him to do other things. Uh, you know, when he made uh, Fantasia and things like that, those were all experiments into different, uh, you know, like, uh, techniques in doing animation and whatnot. He all, he, he, like, he never tried to do the same things twice. They wanted him to do more, uh, you know, there was, uh, you know, he did the, the three little pigs and, uh, everybody just goes clamoring for more, you know, you know, you know, do another sequel, do it, you know, or, or do a sequel with, uh, the three, you know, three little pigs, do it. We, you know, we want more pigs, more pigs. And, um, you know, he never wanted to, cause it never really did as well as, <laughs> as the original. Uh, so when they did snow white, same sort of thing, we want more dwarves, more dwarves, more dwarves. And, uh, he never, he, he never did it because he doesn't believe in sequels, which I think he would have flipped. He would, he, he'd flip out now because, uh, <laughs> the see you know, the amount of sequels in Disney movies, um, you know, it's just amazing. That's probably, I'm not exactly quite sure why I don't like Disney sequels. Um, you know, but I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it just because of, you know, I found out that the, you know, the Walt, the man did not like him. So, uh, I, I, I really don't like him. A lot of people do, you know, just like the, you know, the stories and stuff like that. I still think it's the animation's not as crisp as, as the original. And obviously you're not getting the same voice actors or at least not, not all the time. Sometimes you do. Um, but, uh, for the most part, you don't get the, um, uh, you know, the original voice actors and it just was, uh, you know, I'm just, it's just not for me. Uh, so I, I kind of stick to the original Disney movies and, uh, or Pixar movies rather, cause I still consider them a Disney movie. Uh, so, you know, that's my opinion on that. Uh, but yeah, those are pretty much like the two things that I, uh, I, I really specialize in. I love reading about the Disney parks and how they were formulated, how they were created. And I love reading about the history of Walt Disney and, uh, just all the different things that he had to go through and Roy and all them and everybody that worked at the, at the Disney company had to go through, uh, you know, to innovate, to invent and, uh, make, uh, these excellent, you know, mo moving pictures that we so appreciate today and how it, it you know, it, it impacted, you know, the rest of the movie world, uh, and, and in the world in general with all the stuff that he did, like when he, uh, you know, got older, he did the, you know, the 19, uh, or the 1964 world's fair and all that stuff. That was uh, the, the majority of the pavilions were made by him because they needed to turn to somebody with a creative mind. And sure enough, they, they got the man himself, Walt Disney involved. And, uh, he didn't turn back cause he was going to use a lot of that stuff, uh, 
to uh you know you, you you know to put in his parks let them pay for it and uh he'll build it and you know so uh he you know he kind of had a good uh, idea there a good thing going uh, but yeah, those are, uh, that's my opinion on the, uh, different types of Disney fans. So you get to, f- you know, uh, you know, figure out what type of a Disney fan are you? Are you a regular Disney fan who just kind of is, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I, I like Disney movies or, uh, a fan with specialities like me who go, oh no, I, I dig, I dig deep into certain things when it comes to Disney uh, or in, in in the world of Disney, and uh, I think I'm, I can hang with the best of them when it, uh, you know, with a, in a conversation about these certain things. So those two topics, I think I can really uh, hang in a conversation with, and because uh, I'm always looking to learn more and read more about it. So uh, that's one of my favorite things. So you have to figure out and ask yourself what type of a Disney fan are you? Are you a regular Disney fan? Which again, there's nothing. You know, there's essentially no difference. There's, I'm not saying one is better over another at all. I'm just, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that I just noticed that there are two types of Disney fans: people with specialities and uh, uh, people who don't have them. And uh, moving on to one other topic, I might do one or two more topics here. Try to keep this limited to some sort of reasonable time. Uh, one other topic is. Uh, I, I noticed that they're really uh, like my friends go to conventions a lot and uh, they're always going to some sort of anime convention or a video game convention. And uh, I know for sure that there are plenty of Disney fans out there who, you know, who would love other Disney conventions. I'm not even sure if there are other Disney conventions, I, you know, cause I know there's the D 23 convention. That's the Uber, you know, officially recognized uh, Disney convention, but good Lord, I get emails for 27 comic cons and you know, all these different things. And then these people are going to be over at this comic con and they're this going to be at the Katsu con or the Oda con. Or I'm like, Jesus, just, I I'm I don't like the fact that there's only one Disney convention on the West Coast. They need to bring that over to the East Coast at some point. Have there be two 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 a year, or something. You know, you can even have them be the same sort of thing. But I mean, it's so hard to get over to the West Coast for uh, a, you know like a Disney convention. There needs to be a convention over on the East Coast. Make you know have it be in New York. I'd take the train up to New York. I'd love that. Uh, but flying over there is just way too expensive, and you know the, the the hotels and all that other stuff just way too expensive. Um, and you know it just it doesn't because I would love to go to these things to go to the you know like the you know the the what is it the you know, you know the places where they do the you know, the shows I don't call well, you you call them shows but they're talks and different things like that uh, panels I think they're called they're called panels uh, you know so I mean I would really love that. But it's so, it's really hard to find, you know, the money, you know, to get over there for the D23 convention. So that's what I'm saying. I think we need to somehow get another Disney convention going. Uh, just, you know, have different animators, I guess, show up you know, for autographs and things like that. Have a dealer's room. God knows there's 27,000 bits of Disney merchandise. I don't know. I just, you know, if, if, if D23 could somehow come over to the East Coast, I think that would be great. Um, but... I don't think that's going to happen, and I don't think another Disney convention is going to pop up at all. But I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm jealous of the comic book people or the video game people or the anime people because they have all the conventions in the world, and uh, you know, and it's it's hard to meet other people who like Disney aside from people going to Disney World, aside from just going to Disney World, which is uh, again still tough to do. Uh, being a Disney fan, uh, I, I know people, um, or I know people who like Disney, uh, you know, I know, I know of them, but you know, not a, you know, like not a whole lot of people who just want to have a conversation about it. You know, I, I want to meet more people who, who like Disney world. That's part of the reason why I did this YouTube channel was to, uh, you know, to try to meet other people who like Disney world. And they, that has afforded me, uh, you know, you know, like many, uh, you know, you know, friends and, uh, and and YouTube friends that it's great uh, but I still want more you know I still think uh, you know I would love to see in you know on just how many people there are 
uh, out there, especially in a given region who, you know, who like Disney world. And I would like to meet the people who actually did it. And, you know, it's, it's one thing to talk to per to a person online. It's one to hold the, uh, you know, you know, deal to talk to somebody, you know, you know, face to face, which is what I'm all about. I like face to face talking, uh, kind of ironic because I do, um, a Disney show, which is a digital thing, but, um, it's my face, hopefully talking to your face. All right. Now there are two other things that I want to talk about. Um, I've never even heard of this show, but, uh, apparently this made some news in the past recent weeks. Uh, good luck, Charlie, uh, on the Disney channel. I don't watch the Disney channel, um, because it kind of, it, it's not really my thing, but it's, cause I really don't watch a whole lot of, uh, general episodic TV. I really don't. I, you know, when I come home from work, I usually, I usually come home from work, work out, eat dinner, and then go to sleep. Uh, cause I don't have a whole lot of time. A lot of people love their TV shows and that's awesome. Uh, you know, watch the Disney channel, really enjoy that. Uh, but apparently I was watching, or was, you know, I always keep out my, you know, you know, I keep my ear to the ground for different news and whatnot. And I saw this on Yahoo that, uh, the, this TV show on Disney channel, good luck, Charlie, uh, had, uh, a gay couple. And there was a lot of backlash for that. Uh, I'm not really one to take a stand on anything because I really don't believe in that. You know, I'm, I'm a guy who just kind of, you know, just let whatever happens, happens. That's kind of my deal. Uh, you know, I don't oppose anything, uh, aside from people messing with my family. Like that's the only, like the only real thing I believe in is, uh, my family and making sure they're okay and, uh, not hurt because I think they're the only things that, uh, in the world that I really care about. Um, but there was a ton of backlash because all of a sudden they showed a gay couple on this show. And I don't really understand that. It's kind of like, like we are in 2014 people, but hate breeds hate. You know what I mean? Like, you know, hating something because all of a sudden there was, you know, a person had two mothers or two fathers. It, it doesn't really matter. It just doesn't matter. And that's, that's all I'm trying to say. You know, cause, uh, cause you can make an argument that like, uh, you know, doing this is going to hurt, hurt, hurt my family. Well, you know, you doing what you do is going to hurt somebody else's family. So it's like, there's, there's just always that dichotomy back and forth. Good Lord people. Let's just kind of move on from all the hate and, uh, and get down to the stuff that really, really matters. Like just making sure that we care about one another and uh, making sure that, you know, our society doesn't devolve into some, you know, into two or three, four, whatever, separate factions that are, you know, just constantly fighting. I mean, like, I, I know it's human nature to, uh, you know, to want to destroy ourselves for uh, whatever reason that, that just seems to be in our human nature because uh, people, I guess, are stupid and they just can't see where we're, you know, you know, where we're heading but, um, a lot of people want to place blame on certain things. I just think it's an overall general blame on stupidity. Uh, <laughs> stupid people make the world, uh, a, a worse place. Let's just say that. And stupid doesn't mean uneducated. Stupid does not mean you have a retardation or anything like that. To me, if you're an idiot or if you're stupid, that yet you can't open your mind to the future and, uh, see where things are going, but, uh, but, you know, but then again, not everybody, um, you know, has that ability and, um, or the ability to want to listen or understand to malt, you know, more than one way of thinking. Cause they think their way of thinking is, is proper. They think, you know, th you know, they can't just listen to both sides and then make up their mind, which, uh, you know, what is, is what I recommend, uh, you know, you know, for people, um, you know, I always try as, as my, and I'm not, I'm not a saint to this, say I'm, I'm, I'm better than anybody, but I, I always try to listen to both sides and, uh, then I can make an educated decision because I have listened to both sides and I've heard, uh, you know, what I needed to hear from both sides and I can decide on how it will impact me. Um, for, for me, uh, if you're gay, uh, that doesn't impact me at all in any which way, shape or form. Um, you know, it, it's not going to, you know, you being gay is not going to burn my house down or, 
or hurt my family in any which way, shape, or form. Simply, all that means is that you like uh, a member of the same sex as you. I don't care about that. I really don't. Um, you know, I'm not a guy, though, who's going to go and, you know, protest, you know, people who, uh, you know, protest gay people. I, it's just not what I do. I just, I simply state my piece and then I move on, uh, you know, with my own life because that is my, uh, that's to me is what it's all about. And that's, uh, that's really all, all I've got to say about that. Um, so I, hopefully I didn't offend anybody. Uh, if I did, well, that's your problem and you need to deal with that in your own way. Uh, but the other thing I do want to talk about is, uh, uh and this is a little bit better cause I want to end it on a good note. Uh, this is, uh, my least favorite Disney princess and don't, I don't, I really don't understand why I was thinking about it, but on the way home, I think, uh, I was listening to some Disney music and one of the songs from Snow White came on and that really got me thinking, I think Snow White is my least favorite Disney princess, uh, for the sheer and simple fact that she is 16 years old. Okay, 16 years old. Now, I understand that she's being forced to do, you know, like chore, or well, not not chores, but she's, you know, almost essentially kind of like a slave, you know, in rags and things like that. And the evil queen is making her clean and do all that stuff. And she's wishing for this. And, uh, you know, like, dude, you are 16 years old. What do you know about life? Oh, my God. You know, look, you can wish to not be cleaning and doing crap like that anymore. Just run away. And obviously she does, and she meets the seven dwarves and things like that. But before that, like, a dude rolls up on her, and she's like, we'll get married. We're going to get married. I'm waiting for my prince to come, and we will get married and this, that, That is not how life works. That is not how life works. Why do you know he's not some weirdo who's going to make you do the same thing? We don't even, I don't even think he has a name. What is it? Isn't he, isn't he just generically called the prince? Like whenever I see him at a, uh, you know, at the, at, at Disney world, I always laugh because I just, I don't like, I love the movie snow white. I think as a movie, it's great, but those two characters in it with snow white, that without snow white would be excellent, (laughs) um, to me. Uh, I, I just don't like the prince and I don't like Snow White. That's uh, she's honestly one of my, one of my least favorite uh, princesses. And I know like somewhere down the line, I'm going to get busted for this and I want to have to explain myself. So I, I want to try to explain myself as much as I, as I possibly can. It's just, that's just, <laughs> it's just honestly not my type. I guess you could say she is not my type of princess. Uh, I like Cinderella. I think she kind of, is okay, you know, but she's kind of still in the same vein of, uh, well, you know, I just met you, so let's get married. That's not exactly my, my type. Uh, I think Disney pulled a progressive, uh, move with, uh, making, uh, Elsa and, the, and the characters of Frozen just kind of say, no, I'm doing my own thing. And, uh, you, you got, uh, what is it? Uh, you know, uh, you know, Kristoff and Anna, their whole thing, I think that, you know, you, you, they did a really good job with that, so, um, I'm quite, I'm, you know, I'm more towards that, I'm more towards the, you know, I, I want a woman with substance, I want a woman with, uh, you know, with a little bit of fight in her, you know, person who doesn't mind fighting, uh, take, you know, you, you gotta, you, know, you gotta fight for the girl, a girl worth fighting for, from Mulan, kind of that, you know, you, you know, that sort of thing, only I like Mulan more than I like any of the girls that they were talking about, uh, just something that, you know, was, I would just, I just, just dawned on me. Cause a lot of people always ask me, what's your top favorite, this top favorite, that I really don't have top favorite anything. I, it's ha- so hard for me to do the top tens every week because it's like, Oh dude, I just don't, I don't know. I, can, I like putting something as a number one. Like I like this over this, over this, over this. I understand in, 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 in society today that we have to, and everything is ranked and everything is, you know, what's your favorite, this, what's your favorite, that I understand that uh, like, that is a, you know, that's like a thing that we have to strive, you know, strive for now. But for the most part, I don't, I don't have a favorite anything. Um, I, I like things more than other things, you know, but I, 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 don't, I it, it wouldn't necessarily be, um, you know, my all time top favorite. 
like uh you know like you know like you know i like pizza i like this but i'm not i don't want to eat pizza every day you know what i mean it's like it's it's all about what i'm feeling in the moment i'm more of a in the moment type of guy uh you know so it, whenever i people ask me to do top 10s and i'm doing them at the end of every month now uh, it's always something i str- i struggle over because uh you know you know those top 10s can change week by week it's just kind of what i'm feeling at the moment and uh you know uh, you know, it's, it's just tough for me. So, uh, you know, people always ask me that and I, it just got me thinking like who, who, like uh, at least who do I like the least? And she is, is, Snow White is easily one of the ones that I, I, I like the least just because she has zero fight in her, has <laughs> zero fight. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just, she's not exactly my type of chick and plus her voice is annoying. Oh my God. Every time I watch that movie, I'm like, just stop singing. Stop please stop singing and him he just walks up today i'm like oh my god dude dude, you're scaring the chick you don't just come in and just say just start belting out this crazy what not (sighs) whatever moving on moving on from that all right i think i've talked enough for this first podcast there's a bunch of other stuff that i you know i could talk about uh, I'll, I'll say for other, uh, you know, other podcasts, I'll be doing these maybe once or twice a month just to try to, you know, you know, break some stuff up. I, you know, I definitely want to talk about avatar land, my things on that, uh, my Disney infinity collection. There's a star Wars RPG out that I've been playing a tabletop role playing game that I, I kind of like. And, uh, since star Wars is now kind of a Disney thing, uh, I could talk about that. So, you know, you know just a lot to you know, to talk about. And, uh, so I'll be doing some different, I'll talk about different things. And, uh, if you guys have any topics or things that you want me to elaborate on, feel free to mention them in the comments or anything like that. Somehow get a hold of me again. I am on, on YouTube. If you're just listening to this because this is a podcast, I'm on YouTube. Just type in file 91 E you'll see all my videos. Uh, it's file 91 E's Disney news and reviews. Uh, I do a lot of stuff there. You can shoot me a message on Google Plus, or uh, um, actually, my, you know, the best way to do it is to message me via um, uh, Facebook. I have a I have a Final Nine Mini Facebook page. The links in below, or you could uh, just type in Final Nine Mini in Facebook, and you should see it on Google uh, right there. Uh, you know, I do some stuff on that, but that's honestly the Final Nine Mini Facebook page is honestly the easiest place to get a hold of me uh, because uh, it's so much easier than Google Plus. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I did not like the Google plus transformation, uh, but that's just me. So yeah, they, thanks for listening to this guys. Uh, it's, it has stopped snowing and, uh, I think it's going to pick up though. We're going to get another one to three inches tonight. So, uh, I, I definitely know I'll be going into work tomorrow, but, uh, uh, you know, I, it gave me time to dig out today and gave me time to do this. So, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. It sounds, uh, hopefully it'll you know sound pretty good to you guys. So uh, I'll see you guys next time for another podcast. And uh, as always, you know, you know, check me out on, on YouTube. I'll be doing a another Disney news and reviews every week. So see you guys.